Hello guys, it is Teenage DC Fan, back in another video. And last week on Supergirl, Leviathan's role as the looming threat over the series' fifth season became a little sharper. Not only did we get the origin for Akrata through a series of flashbacks, revealing the demise of the friendship between Andrea Rojas and Lena Luthor, but we also saw Lena translate the medallion of Akrata to discover the term Leviathan. This week, think, things go to the next level, with a le Leviathan becoming more of a tangible threat. But more than that, Supergirl will finally discover the truth about her so-called best friend, a discovery that could change everything going forward on this show. So, just a quick warning, spoilers ahead for tonight, I mean last night's episode of Supergirl titled Tremors. So the episode opens with Jean and Supergirl sparring to prepare for Leviathan, though they have no idea who or what Leviathan is or when they will strike. Supergirl has a bad feeling about everything, but then all of a sudden Jean collapses. At Lena's, the older Levi the old Leviathan lady, uh because that's what we call her. We just call her Leviathan Lady. Because we don't know her actual name. Actually, I think we did find out her name in this episode. Um, but anyway, she demands the medallion from Lena. And, of course, she refuses. Lena tells Hope that she wants to go find the weapons that are held at the Fortress of Solitude. So she can use one of them for her big plans. And doesn't fear Leviathan as Supergirl will save her. John reveals he's been having visions of Malefic. Elsewhere, the Leviathan Lady chats with Rama Khan. Leviathan Lady's name is revealed to be Margot, and they're not thrilled to about the medallion situation. A mystery woman offers her assistance w with his aim to take care of the planet. He refuses. At the El Corp's gathering, Rama Khan shows up to collect the medallion, and Lena calls on Supergirl for helping, her, for help telling her it was Leviathan. At the DEO, Brainy g gives them a little history lesson, referring to the Leviathan guy, Ramakhan, as being a very old alien who has been around for countless major events with unknown powers. Lena suggests that Lex would know how to deal with this, and Supergirl reveals that yes, some of Lex's worst weapons are at the Fortress of Solitude, and then Supergirl suggests that Lena should come with her. Like, how stupid are you? Like, I get that she thinks they're best friends, but, I mean, still, her brother was a murderer that was obsessed with killing her. Um, so even though she doesn't know that Lena, it, like, totally hates her, like, do you think you'd figure it out? And why would you bring someone that wants to kill you to a place filled with things that can kill you? It's just so stupid. And then Jean meditates and tries to figure out what is going on with him by reaching out to his father's spirit. His father reveals that Malefic is, in fact, physically nearby. It was across town, not in the Phantom Zone. Uh, I, I thought I found that pretty funny because Jean was like, what are you talking about, Father? Malefic is in the Phantom Zone. He's in a completely different dimension. And his father's like, uh, no, he's just right across the street. I'm like, oh, cool. Um, meanwhile, Brainy continues to investigate Rama Khan's attack, and in doing so, locates Riproar, who has been turned into a bomb of some sort, exploding and hurting Alex and Brainy in the process. Though Brainy can fix himself while Alex collapses. Dun dun dun. Nothing to worry about, though. Because at the fortress, Supergirl has to quickly disable safety protocols to protect protect against Luthers while back in National City. Um, Jean discovers that Malefic is currently a prisoner, but Jean will have to make a choice between banishing his brother to the um, the Phantom Zone or saving his soul. And possibly dying in the process. At the DEO, Kelly sidelines Alex, who has a conclusion. 
At the fortress, Lena uncomfortably recalls the Kaznia incident as she continues to play Lena. Elsewhere, Ramakan is frustrated that he can't find Lena and the medallion, but he figures out that they are in the fortress because it's the one place on Earth that's not from Earth. In the fortress, Supergirl gets information about Ramakan, revealing he's from a sister planet to Krypton, while Lena uses the quantum processor to send a message to Brainy. Except, she's really using it for other purposes. That's just what she wants Supergirl to think. So they eventually get to the weapons, including Myriad, which is pretty much the item Lena needs. So they settle on a sonic cannon to use against Ramakan, though. Meanwhile, Brainy is having some after-effects of the blast and puts together that Leviathan's headquarters are in National City. He rushes up to tell Alex, just as Kelly breaks up with her, so that's not good. Like, way to ruin the moment. I mean, it wasn't a good moment, so it's good that you ruined it, but... Alex and Brainy go to investigate the presumed location of Leviathan's headquarters and infiltrate. Alex calls for Supergirl, but Ramakan shows up at the fortress, so they fight. With Supergirl realizing that Ramakan can bend the Earth, the fortress isn't Earth, it's technically Krypton. Lena shows up and hits him with the modified uh, sonic blaster gun thing, but Ramakan escapes. And I just find it really fun to say Ramakan, because that's just a cool name. Then Lena disappears, and Supergirl then busts her stealing the myriad, and Lena confesses. She tells Supergirl that she killed her brother, and that Lex exposed her identity, pouring her heart and her pain out at Supergirl, and she revealed that Lena set up the fortress to turn against Supergirl, and let her escape with myriad. In National City, Jean discovers his brother at Lena's lab, and sit, says he won't send him back to the Phantom Zone. He begs for Malefic's forgiveness, and offers his mind for his brother to see his truth. And somehow it ends up working, so Malefic sees, and he understands. The brothers then hug, and, you know, happy ending for them. But then, also a happy ending for Alex and Kelly, because Alex visits Kelly, and says she wants to help her the way Kelly helped her. Their relationship is saved, and they also have share a nice hug. And then, after all that good hugging is over... In the fortress, a heartbroken car remains alone, trapped, fearing the damage that she has done to her former friend. Because they're not even friends anymore. I mean, they're, they're enemies now. And I don't know what Lena's gonna do, but she's going cuckoo. She's like Lex Luthor now, basically. But what do you guys think Lena is going to do? Let me know down in the comments below. Other than that, this was a pretty decent episode. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And hope to see you in my next video. So I bestow all my DC knowledge upon you.